retrograming in the palm of your hand. Loving it. There you go. Hi there, today we're unboxing a retro flag GPI case. So details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. So it comes in a small compact box with an image of the actual case itself. And coming around this way, retro flag Raspberry Pi case, GPI case, compatible with Raspberry Pi Zero and Zero W. Coming around here, has a 2.8 inch 320 by 240 pixel LCD screen, stereo headphone support, three times AA battery and DC power input. Cable for powering this via USB, it looks like contrast on the side of the case. You've got a power button as well, got a micro SD card slot at the side, volume controls and a headphone jack at the side here. Let's come around here, let's see if there's anything more, and that's it. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. So you've got a bag with some screws, and these are to screw in your Raspberry Pi Zero into the case. Next, you've got a heat sink, and just coming in close, and at the back, there's a 3M sticker on there. Next, which is quite a surprise. It actually comes with a 32 gig micro SD card, which is quite nice, they give that as well. And if I come in close, looks like a class one on there. Okay, next you've got a screwdriver for opening it up. Then you've got a power cable, USB on one side and DC connector on the other side. Lengthwise, it's 90 centimeters and build quality seems okay. Next, you've got a pouch, a carry case to put the case in. And just to show the material, soft feel to it. And let's just try putting it in. So it's quite a, quite a comfy fit. And there you go, it fits quite nicely into there. Next, we've got a sheet of paper that opens up all in English, detailing how to install your Raspberry Pi into the device and it's on two sides and on the front just to highlight even has details of safe shutdown scripts so you don't shut it down ungracefully next let's take a look at the actual case so good strong build quality to it plastic all the way around and obviously the screen is there let me bring my ruler in to tell you the dimensions so around 13 centimeters tall width wise about eight and depth wise we're saying about three centimeters so looking at the buttons, obviously you've got the controller there, got buttons there, and the feel feels good. Got rubber on these and plastic on these. Now coming around here, if I come in close, DC connection points there. You've got a contrast controller here, so you can turn that to change the contrast on the screen. Coming around the bottom, you've got a headphone jack. Coming around here, volume control, and then here, there's a slot where you can insert the micro SD card. So this area here is where you'd be installing your Pi Zero. Now coming around the back, you've got a slot here for batteries. So it's quite nice and versatile in the fact that you can run it off batteries or via the DC power adapter. If we look here, we've got a connection point for a micro USB cable, and that's for firmware updates to the actual device. So it doesn't come with a micro USB cable, but I've got one here, and it just pushes straight in like so. And then if we look closer in the case, you can see here, safe shutdown. So on off button here. Next, let's close this back area here. If I pull that up, and this is where you'd be installing your Pi Zero. So, if I now show the slot, if I open that up, and that's where you'd slot in your card, obviously with the Pi Zero in there. And if I now open it, and there you go, that's the pit you actually installed your Raspberry Pi Zero on. See the connection points on there, and this connector connects in to the bottom there, and that's how it interacts with the actual case itself. And just to note, the top of the case has a power button as well. So initial impressions, all looks pretty good and good build quality to it. Next, let's make a start at installing our Raspberry Pi Zero. So I've got mine 
just here. It doesn't come as part of the packaging. So first of all, let's install the heat sink. So it's this piece here. Take the sticky piece off the back. We can stick that just over here, just to show the other side. There you go, that's on. And next, if I now take this off, open it up, and just to show how it goes. So if I hold it this way, you know it's not gonna go this way, only because the connector piece is over here. If I flip it over, it can just be pushed into position just over here and looking at how it connects all the connection points there just press down on there and that's how it connects now the other thing to note is obviously the card reader so if I hold it this way card slot is there and that goes like so so pushing it down comes into position just to show just sits below and then the board can be screwed on nice and tight into position. Let's screw down the case so the boards are all securely in position. So it's just a matter of taking these, putting them on top, clipping them in, and we can just put the screws in and tighten up. That's it, now it's securely on. Let me just show how to put the micro SD card in. So if I lift that off, you've got the card slot just there. And if I take the card now, I can just put it in position like so, and then we can close up. There you go, so now it's in. So next thing I need to do is get the software installed on the card. Next thing we're gonna do is actually set up the RetroPie gaming software on our micro SD card that came with the device. Now they've specified in the instructions a website and it's download.retroflag.com and once you come here there are options here to download different things but rather than go for a customized one where you've already got RetroPie on there if we scroll down there's actually setups made specifically for the GPI case so these are the variants available on here let's go for the first one which is recall box so if I click on that now it's saying here so you've got the image here that you can actually write onto your micro SD card. But to enable you to do that, you need this software, Etcher. So if I click there first, and we'll download it and just get it ready. So it's downloading at the moment. While that's going on, we can now go back and we can download the actual image we want. So as it's a Raspberry Pi Zero, this is the one we're gonna go for. If I click there, and let's give it a few moments to download. Now the image file has downloaded and Etcher has downloaded as well. So if I now launch the Etcher application, click agree to that, and there you go, it's started up. So it's asking for an image and the recall box image has downloaded. So if I now click select image, and that's the one I've just downloaded. So let's click open to that. The micro SD card is slotted into my computer and I can just click the flash button now. There you go, it's completed now. So now I'll take out the micro SD card and place it into the actual case now. Now the micro SD card is ready, we can insert it into the Raspberry Pi Zero, just here, put the slot back on, the actual cover, and we can plug it in now. But I do like the fact it's quite a cool way of plugging it in. So if we look here, we've got safe shutdown, and that was in the off position. I've now put it into the on position, and we can insert some batteries into this now. So the safe shutdown just avoids a situation where it's just shut down and there's a possibility of the operating system getting corrupted. So it's got scripts on there to safely shut it down. Batteries are in now, so if I now put the cover on, like so, turn it around, we can take the plastic screen protector off, like so. And now let's power it on. So if I come around here, push that across, lights come on, and there you go, 
installing GPI case. So let's give it a moment. And there you go, it's ready to use now. So if I bring it in close, screen quality isn't that bad. It's actually quite good for quite a low resolution screen. If we come around here, you've got the contrast on there. Take that up, take that down. Let's put it on the maximum. Obviously helps with recording the screen quality and volume there as well. So very good. If I come across, you can see the different emulations you've got there. So you've got Amstrad, Game Boy Advance, Sega Master System, Nintendo, PC Engine, Doom, Super Nintendo, Thompson, Amstrad again. Okay, so we can just select something. You've got a list of games in there. And if I come back, and there you go, Doom. So let's go for Doom actually. Retro gaming in the palm of your hand. Loving it. There you go. And once you're done with this, what you can do, obviously you've got the graceful shutdown. If I now push that across, there you go, gracefully shuts down. It's an excellent functionality on that. Now, if I flip it over, pull the batteries out. So again, I like the fact you can use it with batteries or you could pull them out and just plug it directly into a USB point. Now, the nice thing about this is you could have it running directly off a power bank, for instance. If I plug that in there, the other end, if I now plug that into a charging point I have at the side, that's plugged in, power it on, give it a moment. And there you go back in there now. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this GPI case. Very simple to set up and configure. It's got all the instructions you need and online, you can just download the image you want and you're ready to go. Very simple and I've shown exactly what's involved in there. Build quality wise, I think the build quality of this is very good. And the fact if you're into retro gaming, I think it's an essential. The fact it's got a nice quality screen on there, you've got sound going in there as well and you can play off batteries or directly off a USB cable. So there you go, hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.